10 year challenge and conspiracy stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, this is some conspiracy. You know, somebody told me a great joke about a conspiracy theorist. They said a conspiracy theorist dies and goes to heaven. Or at least he's having his interview to try to get into heaven. And he meets God and God says, all right, congratulations, sir. You lived a great life. You've made it into heaven. And as one of your rewards, I will answer, you know, whatever your top question is that you've ever had in life. He goes, oh, thank God. Uh, I want I have to know who is it that killed John F. Kennedy? Who were the people that killed him? And he said, well, I can answer that easily. He goes, it was Lee, Lee Harvey Oswald. It was, you know, it was him and he acted alone. And the conspiracy theorist goes, ah, oh, Jesus, this goes higher than I thought. <laughs> I'm sure I, I'm sure I butchered it. Anyways, 10 year challenge and conspiracy stuff. Dear Bill Illuminati. Uh, Balluminati. Oh, Jesus. I love that. All right. What are your thoughts on the 10 year challenge? Uh, my thoughts are if you're an adult, you shouldn't be doing that. That just sounds like something a teenager would be doing. Oh, I'm such an old grumpy cunt. <laughs> That's for children. Grow up. Get busy with dying. Uh, the social media thing where people post a pic of themselves from 10 years ago and today to show how much. Or little they've changed. Wired did an article about the shady data, coll data collecting involved with it. Also, I'm 23, so when I started listening to you in 2011, I was younger and definitely intrigued by the conspiracy stuff, but never had enough of a perspective on history and everything till now. I've, let, I've read a lot more about that crazy shit history has fed us. While I don't believe that the moon is actually an alien base. I do believe that the official story is often bullshit. Yeah, that's called being enlightened. But for a lot of people, they'll still say, oh, what are you putting on your tinfoil hat? Um, yeah. The official story is usual, usually 90% of the time is bullshit. And all you have to do is just look at yourself as a human being. Anytime you get in trouble, anytime there's a controversy, you know, how much you're spinning it. You know, I've always said, you know, when, a, when was, has a cop ever pulled up to a two car accident and one person says, that fucking guy came out of nowhere and T-boned me. And then when he walked up to the other guy, the other guy, the cop goes, what happened? And the other guy goes, man, I came out of fucking nowhere and T-boned him. It's always going to be like his version of it. And they're both fucking in the right. Anyways, he said, I think the most frustrating thing is how little people care about declassified files that confirms that was once crazy talk. Yeah, because they view it as this weird way, their perception, they view it as this isn't how things have been handled historically and continue to be handled today. They view it as, well, all those people who said that shit were dead, are dead now. That stuff happened before I was born. They, they, for some reason, cannot make the leap until, and up until the modern era. Like, uh, my wife just sent me something where there was a family, you know, that was dealing in the business of Oxycontin and how they are being accused. There's all these emails of them suppressing information about how fucking addictive that stuff was. And if that is true, those people, you know... If they don't get the death penalty, what they've done to people, what they've done to families. And I'm, you know, I know like three close personal f friends of mine that are, have dealt with it or are dealing with it. And, um, I don't know. And just all of this shit. I mean, come on. Like, and, but what kills me now is now because corporations own media and all of this shit. The same ones who are fucking us over, who dictate our foreign policy. If you criticize anything about that, then they, then they just go and they wipe out your fucking career. Um, but anyways, as far as the 10 year challenge, I mean, yeah, they're definitely data collecting data, I would think. And they're selling data. And then it just gets to who are they selling it to and what are they going to use it for? Like that 10 year challenge stuff. If you give that to the police, that could help them find a missing kid. Um, 
But then it's also, you know, it's like anything. If it falls into the wrong fucking hands, like there's nothing wrong with an AR-15 until a fucking lunatic gets one. There's nothing wrong with guns until some fucking moron gets one. Um, So then that becomes the thing that people then debate. Because there's morons out there, should nobody have them? Is there a way to control who gets them? Blah, 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 all of that shit. So um, I don't know. Well, welcome to the frustrating world of being at least uh, enlightened. I'm not saying enlightened like you're 100% right on everything that you're thinking about. But to sit there and, and say that the official story is often bullshit. Yeah, it is often bullshit. Right from why a team got rid of a player to uh, why we're fighting a war. All of it is going to be spun. Um, I'll tell you what's hilarious. When I was overseas, I kept doing this thing saying like uh, in the middle of my act, I would just be like, you know what? Now I'm going to take time out of my act to talk about the greatest country in the world, the United States of America. Okay? And everyone would start laughing. And then all I would, I wouldn't even do jokes. I would just start spewing out our propaganda. Beacons of freedom, defending the rights of blah, blah, blah. And and everybody bursting out laughing like I was doing stand-up comedy. And all I was doing was just saying what my government says to me, what we're doing. All right? I did that in every city, all seven countries, and they all laughed. Okay? Now, are you going to fucking tell me that, that by doing that as a test... Because I knew that they were going to laugh, but I just wanted to see like how hard they were going to laugh. Um, how could I just sit there and be like, well, what, what I'm being told is 100% fucking true. There has to be an, at least another side to this fucking story, right? I don't know. Anyways, plowing ahead here. Um, I, I would Personally, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't send my DNA into the internet to find out what percentage German, Irish, English, French, whatever the fuck I am. Um, I do think, you know, it's fascinating to figure that out, but I just don't trust people that have, you know, I mean, one of the biggest lie, the, the brand new, the new checks in the mail, that used to be the old lie. The, the modern version of that lie is this is a secure site. None of them are secure and you should be guarding everything that you can. But at this point, even with myself, I just think, you know, it's too late. Like so much shit is out there. But just because that's too late doesn't mean you can't educate your kids to not do that. And um, I don't know. I I am amazed with, you know, all of like, the stalkers that are out there, especially with women, that the fact that you can go on the Internet and essentially find anybody and figure out, you know, where they are. Um, and also that, you know, if you're not paying attention like you'll send out a fucking something to one of these social media sites and it literally will say your location where you're at in that moment um i I don't know like how how can that end up being a good fucking thing uh 